Hey everyone, welcome back to yet another Star Stable video. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And today I am going to be telling you guys some of the horses that I recommend that I think you should get and stuff like that. And I'm going to be telling you five of the ones that I think personally you should get or like the horse basics that you need in Star Stable. So let's just get right into it then. <laughs> So the first horse that I think is like not a necessity, but it's definitely helpful if you want it. And it is on the cheaper side since the generation three version came out. This is a generation two Arabian horse and these horses can be found and sold at Paddock Island or uh, the horse market or something like that. <laughs> yeah. And they cost 485 star coins. Now I specifically mean the Pintabians. I don't know why I said the Arabians, but the Pintabians actually do how do you call it they are a little speedier than some of the other horses so that is why I recommend them and definitely if you are doing championships or want like a chance at winning and stuff like that you have the tack and you have a good horse and it's maxed and stuff but you're still not winning you might need a Pintabian to aid you in your struggles so yeah I definitely recommend the Pintabian especially if you want to win championships or stuff like that just make sure you max it and for 485 Five star coins it is a pretty snazzy deal considering that the generation 3 version of the arabians came out so the pintabian did get a price down cost as well and yeah any pintabian 100 recommend very good for championships and stuff like that and yeah okay next one <laughs> The next horse I recommend is Pertron or Jorvik Frisian. Now, why I put this on the list is because I personally really like draft horses in Star Stable. You're like taller than everyone else, besties. You're taller and stuff like that. So I really recommend it, especially just to have like a tall horse, a draft horse or something like that. In your stable is always good. And the Pertron horse is sold at Marley's Farm right off of Silverglade slash Steve's for 850 star coins and the Jorvik free- I definitely recommend like any draft kind of horse in Star Stable, especially you will grow to love them. If you don't like the Pertron or the Jorvik Frisian, they are some of my favorite breeds in the game, like any taller horses. Always good to have one. And the Jorvik Frisian is 950 star coins and sold at uh, Jarlaheim right outside the stables there. So they're really good to get one. And the Pertron's 850 if you want a cheaper alternative to the Jorvik Frisian. But the Pertrons are super duper cute and you can actually wear leg wraps with these horses, so I definitely recommend them. The next horse I recommend is I put on the list any pony. Now, what the ones I personally recommend as a pony is the Gotland or Shinko Teague ponies. Gotland's probably my favorite since it is the closest from being updated and put into the game. The Gotland pony is currently in game at St South at South Hoof Farm for 750 star coins, and um all ponies are the same speed, so that's why I put the Shinko Teague or the Gotland. But of course. If you want a cheaper pony that can still participate in the pony championship and is cute, you always have the Jorvik pony, which is kind of cheaper, and you also have the Jorvik starter pony, so those are good options as well. But I definitely recommend getting at least one pony and maxing it because you never know when you're going to want to try the pony championship with a chance of winning and stuff like that. So yeah, I definitely recommend them. Next horse on the list is Andalusian. I put this on here because even though they are 950 star coins, they are used like in a ton of clubs. I see like dressage clubs use them. Um, Western clubs use them. Like just every club best I use. They're a good horse to have. And I said for clubs, gray is mainly used that I've seen with clubs that have the Andalusian. So I just put gray as a coat color option in case you want to get into specifics of what 
what like what you should get. I just see that one with the most clubs. But of course, any Andalusian is perfectly fine in my opinion, and I love them all. And yes, they are sold at Silverglade Manor for 950 star coins each, and they also have a super cute special move, and it's just like a really good horse to have. Right with the Andalusian, I would also say English Thoroughbred, either an Andalusian or an English Thoroughbred, and you can find English Thoroughbreds at Marley's for a little bit of star coins. I <laughs> can't know off the top of my head, but you know, you know besties, yeah. Next, I put on the list, and the final horse I recommend for you guys is the Jorvik Wild Horse. Now, you besties might be like, why is this a horse basic? Well, I said it's a horse basic that I really recommend because even though it's 950, 975 star coins, it's like super expensive. They are super worth the money in my opinion. Star Sable actually created this horse breed, and... The free birthday horse is one of them, so you can just get it for free, you know? It's good. And yeah, it has a super cute laying down special move, and they come in some beautiful colors, but of course, uh, I would really recommend the free one once it comes out on Star Stable's birthday as well, if you don't want to spend 975 star coins on one. But the Orvik Wild Horse, I definitely recommend and think that it's a horse that many people need in Star Stable. Also for like role plays and stuff, people come up with really good backstories for these, and if you want to make like short movies or anything with a horse, I definitely recommend the Jorvik Wild Horse. And yeah, bye everyone. Thank you so much for watching this Star Stable video. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, see you in the next one. Do do do. But yes, I hope you appreciated these horse basics that you might need in Star Stable. Let me know your opinions and which horses you recommend in the comments down below as well. And yeah, bye.